Okay, so in the last video, uh, number 17, um, we created this uh, banner image which will uh, naturally adjust to, it will change and resize itself uh, no matter what the user does with their uh, with their browser or if they're on a phone or a tablet whatever but let, what if we want a logo in here now it's pretty common to kind of stick a logo upper in le upper left uh, hand corner so that's what we're gonna do um, so here's our banner div and this is where the background image appears this background image here and we have in the last video, we gave all of these settings to that uh, to that banner image, and so now we're going to put stuff inside here, um, and then adjust them. So the first thing I'm going to do is we're going to uh, create what I call. I'm going to call it, um, well, I'm going to call it um, upper left logo box because I'm going to put it, I'm going to put some text and I'm going to put the logo graphic itself in there. Um, all right. But first, what are we going to do with upper left logo box? Now again, we're going to use a pound sign because we're targeting an ID tag. Upper left logo box. And so we're going to give it a Z index. You Now what is the Z index? This just specifies, you can use 22, you could use uh, 44 just so it's above zero above one um, and what it means the Z index will it controls where I guess you can call it the stacking order um, so I'm looking at this graphic and I want my box to appear up here and I want it to be in front of uh, this uh, logo, this background image. So it, here's eventually what we're going to create right here. And you can see it's trans semi-transparent and it's in front of the background image. Um, and you might have other things in here. You know, you could have, you know, 20 or 30 or 40 different layers and you may want um, them so Z index, uh, it will control where things. If I if um, there I had another element on this page and it was overlapping. Okay, it's a product I bought in China, so it tells me to it's been charged and so to turn itself turn it off. Okay, so if I had another. Um, it just controls the stacking order. For right now, you don't have to worry about it too much, but in the for a future video, I might need it. Okay, so for this logo box, I wanna give it a background color, and I'm gonna do something special because I wanna make it semi-transparent. I'm gonna use an RGBA <coughs> color, and remember we did in the previous video, um, there are four, uh, four elements here, four arguments. First gonna do 216, 193, 95, and then we're gonna give this 60% 0.6 transparency. And now let's see what that does. Whoopsie. Oh, whoops, okay. Um, we need to, we're going to do something else first. We also need to give it a width. Whoopsie. Width. 
Um, and we're going to give it a width of 150 pixels. And we're going to give it a height, uh, let's say 70 pixels. Um, okay. Now, oh, another thing. Remember, we want to position this absolutely. All right. That is, we want to be able to dictate exactly where it is um, within the context of this div, right? This containing div, it goes from up here to down here and 100% of the browser window. And so we're going to put it up around there. So we need to give this one a position of absolute. And remember, the parent div, okay, the parent, the, con the element which contains this element, we want to position absolutely. It needs to be set to relative. Now, with this one, I can, all right, so the, okay, this banner, it's set to relative. So I can take this element, my upper left logo box, and I can position it absolutely exactly where I want it to go. And so what we're going to do is we're going to set it off from the left by about fifth, by 15 pixels. So it's going to scoot away from the left edge by 15 pixels. And let's also give the top, it'll scoot down from the top by 15 pixels. Um, and let's see. All right. So you can see there, now we have our box here. And if we, if we said, all right, let's go from the left 115, what would happen? It'd jump over that way or this way. Uh, but we don't want to do that. Now, how did I get this color? What's, what are these numbers anyways? Okay, well, here's this website here. It's really pretty useful. Uh, you can go to colorhex.com um, and you can pick a color. Um, you can see down here, it tells me what the RGB is for this, you know, this kind of, uh, it's kind of like a beige-ish yellow. And the reason I chose that is because this building is kind of uh, a little bit sort of beige yellow. So I thought I'd kind of try to match that. Um, and so it gives it to me. Um, again, you go to this website here. It's free. It's a free tool. And then I can use it. 216, 193, 95. Um, and you can see in my 216, 193, 95. And what you can do with this is you can use, you can click here and you can kind of change. Um, so let's say it was a some some kind of blue like that right all right now I can I see the color I want see how it's changing then I can hit get info okay and now I have a new RGB set of codes right here okay um, it's pretty useful I think pretty fun um, okay all right so but we don't want to stop there why don't we um why don't we give it a uh, border and so we'll make it solid and we'll give it one pixel and let's make it blue okay all right but wouldn't it be nice if we could kind of uh make it curved make these edges curved a little bit okay so we can do that um, by doing this we can give it a border radius and let's give it a border radius of 10 pixels okay and what happens then yeah, you see how it kind of curved those. And 
Okay. All right, so that's it for this video. We're going to finish it up in the next video.